Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another Walking Dead video for today. This one is going to be doing another Walking Dead video that was not really suggested by one person. There's a lot of people uh, in the last uh, couple months that have been asking, who are some of the characters that you want uh, that uh, you would like to see in the show that have been killed off in previous seasons? So what I decided to do is, uh, since we're doing a little bit of a Walking Dead marathon week type of, uh, type of deal because uh, we're doing tons of Walking Dead videos this week, um, I figured why not do a video talking about what are my top 10 characters that I wish they could bring back for the series. Now, I will say before I get into this video, really like the top five are the ones that I really think that, you know, they should have kept in the show. The other five from six to ten are really ones that uh, I'm okay with them dying or leaving the show, and it's really just, um me missing seeing that character every once in a while. But uh, really the top five are the ones that I really think they should have kept in the show and really ones that uh, they, they could have kept in the show um, for a long time. Now some of these, I will say, because of some of the recent uh, stuff going on with The Walking Dead Season 9, uh, there are some characters that have left the show, like Rick, like Maggie, like other characters like that, um, that will still be included in this list, of course. But uh, we do have some other characters in the series that have died that I'm also putting in this list that I wish we're in the show right now. So, um, this will contain spoilers for the Walking Dead television series, of course, if you're not caught up to the end of the Walking Dead season nine. So, uh, without further ado, let's get into what would be my number 10. So, number 10 is going to go to Dwight. So, Dwight is a character that I'm really, really wondering why they didn't just have him be in season 10 or even season nine and why they brought him to fear in the first place. Um, now, he might add to Fear the Walking Dead for sure, that's that's definitely possible, but when, when I look at Fear the Walking Dead Season 5 and I see Dwight there, I just feel like it's so wrong. Like, I'm like, why can't we see him in the original series? We need more characters in the original Walking Dead television series. Fear the Walking Dead, honestly, is already a sinking ship, and I don't need, we, we don't need to see uh, any more of our Walking Dead cast go to Fear the Walking Dead like that. And honestly, one character that shouldn't have gone to Fear is Dwight. And I still don't agree with having Dwight in Fear the Walking Dead. But, um, that's what they're doing, so I guess we kind of have to, uh, we have to kind of deal with it at this point. But, uh, I figured I would definitely at least, uh, you know, talk about that. Because Dwight is a character that really should not be in Fear, in my opinion. But, just my opinion. Uh, so, number nine is going to go to Sasha. So, yes, yeah, Sasha, yeah. Sasha is a really, really fun character, for sure. Uh, she, of course, was introduced in Season 3, and, of course, killed off the end of The Walking Dead Season 7. Uh, and, uh, you know, Negan, uh, he's like, holy, oh my god, you know, as soon as she came out, you remember? Uh, she came out of the, the, the thing, right, and he's like, oh my god, you know, um, so yeah, I, I really like Sasha, she was a really fun character, of course, uh, you know, the stuff with, uh, her and Abraham in season six, we had, uh, her and Bob, uh, before that too, uh, and we had, uh, her at the, uh, you know, her and Tyrese, uh, of course, uh, brother and sister, um, I like when they reunite to a Terminus and stuff. That was cool. Uh, and we have uh, the two of them, of course, uh, uh, her and uh, Bob. Like I said, we have her and uh, Abraham. And, of course, we have, uh, you know, uh, you know her that uh, takes Maggie to Hilltop. And they both stay at Hilltop for a little while there as well. But, uh, yeah, you know, Sasha, really, really awesome character. She kind of went out fighting, you know, you could say. Uh, and uh, she almost got Negan. But, of course, uh, that didn't uh, that didn't happen, of course. Because Negan's just such a darn fun character that they didn't kill off Negan in the Season 7 finale. You know, otherwise, we wouldn't have had season eight, you know, really. Uh, if that would have happened, season eight of The Walking Dead would have never happened, which I know some people didn't, didn't, didn't want Walking Dead season eight to be a thing because, um, people really hate All Out War in the television series version. So, uh, I guess, uh, you know, people would have been happy if, uh, Sasha would have killed Negan. I don't know, but, uh, anyway, uh, I wouldn't have been, but anyway, so yeah, Sasha's number nine for me. Number eight is gonna go to Morgan. So, Morgan is a character that is a really fun character to watch in the, uh, in the original series. You know, he goes from, uh, pretty normal in the first season, then, of course, loses his mind. Then, of course, Eastman comes in, and then he's kind of like, all life is precious, and then, becomes part of the kingdom group and then of course when ben uh, benjamin dies uh kind of goes back to that uh, clear ish type uh you know uh you know philosophy and then of course decides to leave because he's so out of uh, so out of control and basically goes to fear and now is leading uh, fear the walking dead but um i i really like morgan's journey and i really wish we they could have kept him in the show there was a point in time in season eight and even season seven i thought they might have killed him off but they decided to have him leave instead um 
really a character that I feel that we should still have in the series, mainly because how bad Fear is, and I don't really think they should have even tried to save that show at all, because honestly, uh, you know, Fear of the Walking Dead is one of those shows where uh, it was already a sinking ship, like I just said a few minutes ago, and really Morgan adding to it, yeah, he added to it, but now that he's taking it over from Madison, Oh no, not at all. So anyway, that's just my thoughts on it. Number seven is going to go to Herschel. So Herschel is an awesome character. I mean, you want to talk about a character that uh, you know uh, has been through a lot. You know, in a you know in the series, I mean, he lost his leg, lost his wife. Of course, in season two, we didn't see that, but you know, lost his farm, lost his leg. Um, you know, and then just tons of stuff he went through in uh, season three with the, the governor and Rick and stuff. Uh, and then, of course, uh, I really like uh, when uh, he uh, saves all the sick people in, uh, you know, internment. And then just to get his head cut off literally on the same day. Really, really crazy stuff for sure. And I definitely think that Herschel's a fun character to watch. Uh, especially uh, him and Glenn, too. Father-son type of a relationship between the two of them. Really awesome. Re yeah, really, really awesome. So I love the line when he's like, uh, you're like my own son, Glenn. You know, so uh, if you guys remember that, I was se uh, in season three at some point in time. So uh, yeah, Herschel, really awesome character for sure. Rest in peace, uh, Scott Wilson. So uh, number six is going to be Lauren Cohan's Maggie. So um, I definitely, you know, I have to put her on the list because I feel like when Maggie's gone, on um in season nine there's definitely something missing for sure there's yeah you can def yeah definitely you know uh definitely maggie's a character especially in the early seasons uh you know with uh, glenn and stuff and then uh of course leading hilltop now and then of course uh leaving because of the you know the contract you know negotiations you know but well i mean maybe they're negotiating something but uh they've started filming season 10 and she ain't there so uh but whiskey cavalier is canceled and that's one video i forgot to actually uh to do uh is that whiskey cavalier has been canceled at this point so we might see maggie return in the Walking Dead season 10 at some point. Maybe not early season 10, but um, we might see that. So yeah, uh, definitely this one right here, uh, number six for Maggie. Uh, it's not impossible for her to return. So this might be one of the ones that actually could happen. So I uh, definitely want to include Maggie on the list. So now for our top five. So these are the ones that I feel like really could have been uh, kept longer or something different. Um, Number five. So number five is going to be Abraham. So uh, if there's a character in the series that is a lot of fun and a character that I enjoy watching a lot, um, it's going to be Abraham for sure. Abraham is a character that is just, you know, you, you watch him through the, sh the show and he, he just gets more and more uh, awesome, you know. Uh, I, I, some, some awesome lines, you know. Uh, you know, I, I, you remember that one uh, when, when they were in, uh, when, when him and Eugene or whatever, they were in like that uh, factory place or whatever, and he, uh, he's just like, I could have killed that zombie. And he's like, you had better luck cleaning up a turbine's clean end, you know. Uh, and he's just, he has so many awesome lines. It's, it, there's so many. I, I, I could go over them, but I, I won't bore you with the details. But uh, Abraham is a really awesome character for sure and I think that honestly they had him survive his comic death I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna say it because he's long gone now uh, but uh, Denise actually was uh, not supposed to die there it was actually supposed to be Abraham that was gonna get the arrow through the eye that's what happened in the comics but they had Abraham go on further um two episodes further and uh, you know it's just it's such a it's such a, a shame that literally they had him die two episodes after his comic death was supposed to happen you know and they kind of tricked us and I'm not a fan of how they tricked us because honestly I was kind of looking forward to seeing Abraham go on longer maybe a relationship with Sasha uh, maybe making peace with uh, you know Rosita after a while I don't know I would have liked to see that but I mean hey you know I mean it made for a huge death and huge shock for sure I didn't expect Abraham to die in the season 7 premiere uh, I expected it to be Glenn but speaking of Glenn number four is going to be Glenn so uh, I really you know Glenn is a character that you know ever since he's been killed off the, the heart of the show something something's been missing you know and definitely Stephen Yoon's Glenn was just an awesome character to watch and I have to agree that the show is very different without him and I can't deny that the character that the fans really miss Glenn if there's one character people really miss is Glenn for sure so definitely had to put him on the list so number three so the number three here this is more my reason that people won't agree with my number three I, I know they won't but number three is gonna go to Shane. I really miss Shane. Even to this day, I really wish they would have never had that whole Lori thing happen. Like, imagine if he never slept with Lori, none of that never happened, and he was just a, a tough member of the group, you know, that uh, helped them with the governor, helped them with, you know, Negan's group, helped them with the whispers. 
man, you know, and I guarantee, and, and mark my words, if that, that, if Rick was gone and Shane was still in the show, it would be, he would be one of the main characters just along with, uh, just almost as much as Daryl. I guarantee you that. Um, because I guarantee that if that stuff never happened with him and Lori, they would have had Shane be one of the most likable characters in the entire series. For sure. I, I guarantee it. Like, 100% guaranteed. And I, even though some people might not agree with my list, uh, some people might not agree with number three, I personally think that Shane is a, a character that uh, really should have been kept around longer. At least a few seasons ahead. So, uh, but, you know, they decided to end his character there. So, number two. So, one of the biggest mistakes of a television series I've ever seen. Hands down. Number two is going to be Carl Grimes. So, um, like I said, Carl is a character, uh, you know, like, like I said in this video, that you guys might not agree with my list, but I personally think that Carl's death was the biggest mistake they've ever made in the entire series. Yes, even more than Glenn, if you ask me. Um, I actually think that Glenn had a better death than Carl. Carl, he, it wasn't his time, you know, he could have made it past Rick, and that's really all it comes down to. And speaking of Rick, it's time for the number one. Rick Grimes, of course, of course it's gonna be Rick. You guys see him in the thumbnail of the video, you know? Uh, but I also had Carl on the other side of the thumbnail because Rick and Carl, man, they, they are two characters. Now, Rick, of course, we're gonna see him in the movies, but I'm talking about the original television series. Um, however, and I think it's more so because of how Rick, even though I like the way, the direction the show is going, and I actually like how they're uh, handling the show without Rick, um, if they would have had Carl there, I think that that would have been easier because then there'd be, uh, aside from Judith, there'd be one other Grimes character in the show. And I really think that Rick Grimes, and it's more more so my uh, perspective uh, mainly, because I know there's a lot of people that are liking the direction the show is taking without Rick. It's more so my issue. I am such a big fan of Rick Grimes. Rick Grimes is my favorite character of a television series ever. And no joke, no joke, any character, you pick any character from any movie or any television series or anything, I would personally still say that Rick Grimes is my favorite character of anything. Um, of entertainment, Andrew Lincoln's Rick Grimes is just my absolute favorite. The way he plays that part, and I don't really have to go into detail, um, the way he plays the role of Rick, just just outstanding. Seriously, just outstanding. I, I really miss seeing Rick in the series. Imagine the winter time, you know, um, you know, and uh, Rick, you know, in the, the winter episode, you know, uh, with the beard, you know, and the, maybe like the snow and the beard and stuff, just make look, uh, make Rick look all crazy and stuff, you know, and uh, you know how, you know, he'd have his uh, famous uh, murder coat, you know, maybe give him the red machete again, or I don't know, something like that. Uh, they could have done that if Andrew Lincoln didn't want out, but Either way, that's what they decided to do, but, uh, and well, mainly Andrew Lincoln, but, um, man, I'm such a big fan of Rick Grimes, it's unbelievable, and I'm still, I still to this day, and maybe 10, 20 years from now, still won't get over the fact that Andrew Lincoln is not in the original Walking Dead television series, and that's what makes the movie so hyped for me. So, uh, that is my list, of course, uh, you know, write down in the comment section below, what are, uh, what are yours, uh, in the comment section below, uh, what's your list, I know some of them are characters that are gone, some characters are dead, and, uh, I'm really interested in seeing, do people agree with the Shane one, I, I, num as being number three, do people agree with that, or do you guys think I should have put him lower on the list because he, he's been gone for so long um because i personally miss shane a lot i really do i really miss shane but really the two characters i think that really should have been kept are carl which they could have and rick they could have well they can't but i'm just saying those are two characters that i really think they should have uh you know that that really if they were in the show the show would be even 10 times better than it, are, it already is you know so um Anyway, that's my thoughts on it. Write your comments in the comment section below. If you're new here, click that subscribe button to, uh, of course, so you don't miss any of my brand new videos for The Walking Dead or anything else. And tomorrow, I will be doing a Simon character spotlight video. So, catch that tomorrow, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow for the Saturday spotlight. Peace out.